is finished. I am done. He turned from Adolin and continued to walk away. Like damnation itself you are! Adolin raised his shard blade overhead. The assassin spun and slapped the weapon so hard with his own blade that Adolin distinctly heard something snap in his wrist. His blade tumbled from his fingers, vanishing. The assassin's hand slapped out, knuckles striking Adolin in the chest. Stunned, he sank to his knees. I suppose I can kill one more on my own time. Then he grinned, a terrible smile with teeth clenched, eyes wide, as if he were in enormous pain. Adolin awaited the blow. He looked toward the sky. Father, I'm sorry. I... I... He blinked as he made out something glowing in the air, drifting down like a leaf, a figure, a man. Father! The High Prince fell slowly, as if he were no more weighty than a cloud. White light streamed from his body in glowing wisps. Adolin blinked, certain he was delusional. But no, that is father. Like... Like one of the heralds themselves, coming down from the tranquiline halls. The assassin looked and stumbled back, mouth open in horror. No! No! And then, like a falling star, a blazing fireball of light and motion shot down in front of Dalinar. It crashed into the ground, sending out a ring of stormlight like white smoke. At the center, a figure in blue crouched with one hand on the stones, the other clutching a glowing shard blade. His eyes afire with a light that somehow made the assassin seem dull by comparison, he wore the uniform of a bridgeman and bore the glyphs of slavery on his forehead. The expanding ring of smoky light faded, save for a large glyph, a sword-like shape which remained for a brief moment before puffing away. You sent him to the sky to die, assassin. But the sky and the winds are mine. I claim them, as I now claim your life. 